Hey, what's up guys? My name is Avery, and I have a quick video tutorial that I'm going to be showing you guys today where I'm going to be setting up this li library in Python. It's called Face Recognition, and we're going to use it just for a very simple program. And basically, this library is for taking an image. Um, it can parse the image to find face on there, uh, any faces that are on there. It can actually see like details of the face. It can like see its eyes, mouth, and whatnot. And you can use it to recognize that picture of that face with other pictures. So you can say you have a picture of one person. And then a, the same picture, I mean a different picture of the same person, you can be able to compare them and say if it's the same person or not. Um, I'm just showing you just some of the very basics, but I'll have the link for this uh, this in the description as well as the GitHub page. But here's just an example how it shows right here. I mean, this right here just finds the, page, finds the face of the person and it can show you what you've already labeled them as, their name. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. And so to install it, if you can use pip or pip3, but it's just going to be pip3 install face recognition. And I believe here mentioned in the GitHub, you're going to want to have installed as well um, these are requirements. You want to have a dlib. I think the way I installed it maybe before was a uh, also with pip3. So I just said pip3 install space dlib. Um, and then I did the same thing with uh, CMake. I guess if you're on a Mac, use brew. But uh, I just, I'm pretty sure it is pip3 space install cmake. And then when I was able to do that, I was able to run the pip3 install face recognition and then it worked. So we're going to jump into the code and we'll have, let's jump in the directory that I have with some images and we'll make a file. So in this file, we're going to want to import the library that we just installed and it's going to be import face oh, face recognition and we'll say that it as fr because that'll just make it uh, a lot shorter to type out so I have a picture of um, here let me save this yes yeah, so it's open I have a picture of Leonardo DiCaprio and it's saved right here so we're gonna load in this picture and then we're gonna find the character player the people <laughs> my bad on the picture there's only gonna be one it's gonna put it in an array so then once we look at the array we'll just look at the the first one or zero so I'll just do Leo image and we'll do fr dot load image file and it'll be Leo dot PNG and then along with that I have two different pictures that we're gonna be checking with that are group pictures that have him and a few other people and we'll be able to check in those pictures for him so let's do group image equals fr dot load image and it's group one. No, I should believe it's just group. And the second file, a group two. Dot PNG. <clears throat> and now I want to use something for an encoding. Uh, it'll basically be able to parse the image. And we'll do face uh, face encodings. And we'll pass in the image that we have. And we're only going to want the first person because, I mean, the first person in the array, like I said, or in the list. And that's just going to be the picture of Leonardo DiCaprio. And now we want to find out locations. So this one right here has multiple people. So you can find the location, that means like the coordinates, for every single face that's in the image. So I'll just call this group underscore locks. Let's do fr.face um, locations. And in there, we'll pass in the image. Uh, once we're all done, we'll just do it for the second one. I'll just copy it over, and we can just do it for the second one. It'll be easy. If you have a bunch of images, it'll be better to you know store them in an array and then have a loop through. But just for these two, I can just copy and paste it. And then we also want to do our group encoding. And let this be face encodings. Let's be group image. And now I just want to keep a size. Uh, we'll figure out how many people are in the picture. So to do that, I'll just do lin and I'll just be uh, group encoding. And that's just how many people are in the picture. Um, whenever you actually, the coordinates, I'll show you at the end where the coordinates that are going to find are a little bit reversed. And also the list is basically reversed. So I think I think it goes from right to left in the picture. So when you have the size, we have to figure out which face it is. And we just flip it over so we know what position he's in. Um, I'll just do print 
total faces and it'll just be string size. Okay, now we're gonna do an array. Um, I don't use Python a ton, so if, if I'm doing this like a, a poorly way, you guys can mention that in the comments and say there's a better way of doing it. Um, group encoding, and let's call it results. And I'll do fr, and it'll be compare faces. And so I'm passing this in a bracket, but it's gonna be the Leo encoding. And then it's gonna be x. And it's going to come back as, an, uh, as a list. There's only one result in the list. It's just going to be true or false, but we are just going to pass it in as this so you can get the actual result instantly. And now we can just do if results equal uh, equal true. We'll just do print face and it'll be string. And then like I said, it's flipped over backwards. So let's do the size minus k. Okay and add and here I'll make it so it stays in the same line and uh, I'll print this off here um, like I said I don't use Python a ton and it was giving me some errors it was saying uh, something about a tuple so like I, for some reason I wasn't able to print this right here in the same line as the one before so if you guys know anything about that just leave in the comment to let me know I would appreciate it and we'll just increment the K as such, <clears throat> uh, as one. Okay, so right here we're importing our library. We're loading in the images for the first and the second one. Uh, then we're encoding it, so we're getting the data from the first one. And then we're pulling out the very first face that's found. There's only one face in this image. And in this one, we're finding the locations, the coordinates for all the faces. And right here, we're also getting all the data. Um, and then right here, we're just making it so we can label what the size of um, how many faces are in the image? We print that out, and then we loop through all the faces. We compare them with the original Leo face, which is just this X, and we have it this because it's just in brackets. So I'll just say true or false, and we check it. And like I said, the images are going to be flipped backwards, so then we'll just want to flip it back with the size, so then it makes sense for reading left to right on the image instead of right to left. And I'll just print out the location. I'll show the coordinates. Uh, I'll pull it up in a and GIMP so I can show you exactly what the coordinates work, uh, look like. Um, and like I said, we can just copy this and I'll just have this print a new line. And I'll just copy this right here. It must be group two image and group two image. Man, that should be fine. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. Is that the name of the images were? Okay, now we can try running it. So let's do, let's check to see if there's any sort of errors as well. Okay, so it said it's in the first image, it's a total of five faces, and it says it's face two. A third, this, this other image, it's total five face, total three faces, and it's face two. So now I can just open up these images as well. So it was uh, group.png. It's gonna have five people. There it is, five people. And there he is, he's number two. And I'll just open up the second one. And it's three people, and he's number two. Um, there is four people in this picture, but I mean, I mean, as you can see, oh my bad, in the code, it only detects three of them. So it's not detecting this face. But there he is. I've tried some other images. I found some images where he's wearing like a baseball cap that covers his eyes or where he has a big beard. On um, the face recognition with this that I'm showing you right here doesn't work perfectly with it. But like I said, the code can actually be used to, you know, get his eyes. You can use to grab features like nose and mouth and like a lot of parts of the face. Um, like how it shows even right here. It can grab the part of the face right here and detect the parts of it. So once you do that, you can make like a database and you can try to... Um, be more precise and I think there's ways of just uh, things like that where you can try to detect who a person is even if you don't have all the information but uh, just with this basic code that I showed you it, it won't always get it but uh yeah so here we can look in oh we'll pull up GIMP and let's do group 2.png uh, yeah, that's fine okay I was already looking at this before. Let's go to changes. Okay, so 
this right here is this one right here. It's the second image we were looking at. So I let me double check. I think this right here is an x and y coordinate. So we can look at this. This right here, just in case you guys don't know again, but this is what I'm going to be looking at, the coordinates. Um, so it's going to be 253. 253 is roughly right here. 53, and it's going to be 924. So 924 is going to be roughly around here. So here's one coordinate. So like I said, the coordinates aren't like, it's not how you'd imagine it. So it starts up over here. It cuts off part of his head. But I mean, as you can even see right here, it cuts off part of their head as well. And then it's going to be 408. And 408 is going to be roughly down here. And then it's going to be 796, which is going to be roughly over here. So it starts over here. It's going to be the top right. And it goes to the bottom left. And it just parses it that way. So that way, if you have any sort of other uh, library where you can use to actually manipulate the image or grab the image or save it as something new, um, that's how you, just to let you know, that's what the coordinates are going to be. Um, there's a lot more we can use with this. Uh, there's a lot more features. I'll probably coming out with another video soon um, using it to for something more specific. I'm breaking it down and making some something with it. If you guys are interested in that, just let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like if you guys um, enjoyed the video. I really hope you did. If you have any questions or any comments, just like I said, leave it below. And if you guys are new here, uh, feel free to subscribe. And thanks again for everyone that's watched the video. And see you guys again next time. Bye.